You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out another Suzy Homemaker item. I've done quite a few and I have some more to show you. This is the regular washer and it says it really cleans, washes dolls clothes, even your clothes, real agitator action. It works like a real one. All that on the front, so we'll have to see. I mean, I'm kind of of course, a little skeptical, but it requires 2D batteries, so you don't plug it in. Let's see. Now, we've seen other Suzy Homemaker items before, right, with the white side and then the green and the black, and that's usually what they show on the back. This shows the color side again. Now, let's see. So, I have shown you the ovens. I don't have the dishwasher sink. This is the washer here. And then I've shown you at least the super grill. So I know I have gone through some of these items. So I need to get this out of the box. This has been sealed, never opened. So I will be the first one to get it out of the box. But the first thing I want to do is get that staple out. Well, maybe I could do it with you here. Let's see. That would be a bonus, huh? The first time ever taken out of a box. And you know, with my older toys, I always like to be careful with doing something like that. That was simple enough. Now that should let this tab come out. Okay, look at that. Hmm. I have no idea how it works, if it works. That's all I know. It's been in the box ever since I got it. And as you can tell, it's never been out. Let's just see what this is down here. It's the cover. It's really neat how I can be the first one. And we're kind of doing it together. Huh? Taking it out of the box. Okay, this looks like the lid to the dishwasher. Excuse me, the washing machine. It's not a dishwasher. And then this comes out. And there's nothing else in there. Simple enough. Okay, and then it looks like it just sits on top. So not much more to it. Okay, and then there's a little tube on the back. Here's where the D batteries go. Let's just take a look at it. Pretty neat. These don't actually do anything. This, I don't know, there is an on off. Wash and then off. So I don't know, usually they don't control anything. And then, okay, so the battery card's on the back. Put in two D batteries, not included. And then let's see, be sure drain hose is in holder. Put clothes in the machine, do not overload. Put approximately one and a half cups of water and a half teaspoon of laundry soap into tub. And it looks like there's a little drain pan. Hmm. Is that underneath or in back? I don't know, let's see. This comes out. I don't know, maybe it's in the bottom of the box. Let's see. After a few minutes, turn knob to off, put drain pan not included under the hose holder. Okay, so this is how you drain it. Oops, that's bad. So this is all pretty much stuck in place. And it looks like I'm gonna have to do some work on it. Well, let's get this out. And yeah, it's all broken on the inside. I can see it right here. Now I have some replacement hose. It's not the end of the world. And <laughs> it always is a shock when you break something, but it's the only way I'm gonna get this to work. So let me get the hose, replace it, and then uh, let's just see. Let's see if we can get some of it out. I bet you it's not gonna come out at all. Yeah. So that's the thing about the toys. All right. I'm gonna have to get in here now and work on replacing that. I will be back. All right, as you can see, things have progressed. I got my batteries, I got my soap, I even got some doll clothes that I dirtied outside. And uh, the tube, I was about to put in a tube. No, I didn't have a black tube replacement, but I have this clear one. I just need to expand it just a little. That's the thing about working with older toys. You are bound to need to be fixing things or correcting things or making things work better. But you saw it all happen now on camera. There, now that is in. And then I'll push it through the hole from the back. And then I'll run the two back up now. 
Okay, so that should fit in there now, nice. Just like the black one, except now it is clear. So I've cleaned out all the broken pieces. I need to shorten this a little. So that when I do this, it drains out. Hopefully, okay, we'll find out. All right, there you go. So let's get the batteries in now. I know when it first broke, everybody was just as shocked as I was. And I didn't put that much pressure on it. It was just so brittle. And I'll show you how brittle it is, watch. It just breaks right apart. All right, so now the battery's in. We could test it real quick. Ooh, okay. So, a cup and a half of water. One and a half cups of water. It does not say it needs to be hot. Now, this is not like going to clean things to where, you know, you have this perfectly cleaned item here because a washing machine takes water, drains water, takes water, drains water to kind of rinse out all the dirt. So, a cup and a half. Here we go. And then one teaspoon of soap. And then I'll put my clothes in. Well, it doesn't really say when to put the clothes in. Be sure drain. Okay, it says, oh, put clothes. Okay, all right, so I'll just reverse the steps. So I'll put in two little skirts. One. And I'll put in the skirt and this top. Look at that. Do you think it's going to clean it? I don't know. There. I don't know what overload means. And then a half a teaspoon of laundry detergent. All right. Okay, here we go. A little excited, a little nervous. And now it's time to wash. It says after a few minutes, so let me put my timer. Check it. Sounds like the motor was changing just a little. Now it's still got the dirt on it. Let's push it down a little bit more. The water is definitely dirty though, so it has taken some stuff off. Like I said, I don't think it was really meant to completely scrub something clean. Pretty cool though, here. All right, that's been about two minutes. Let's at least attempt to drain now and see how that all works. Okay, we'll see if there's enough release there. It looks like the water, hmm, let me see, I might have to readjust that. Let me do that, I'll be right back. And I see what the problem is, if I pull this out, it will drain. It's just there's a little kink in the line. So it might not be the best hose, but let's see. There we go. And look, there's little pieces of dirt in there. I'll do this again, I just want to get these initial this initial test out of the way it 
but you got to drain a cup and a half so you need at least that in your drain pan Ooh, I would have made it look at that okay let me turn this around now let's see we got it open a little bit more in there drain to that Ooh, look at all the dirt now did you see that okay I'll need to do some a few more modifications but well, here let's take this out yeah, it's a little bit better but not much I mean you could still see it there you'd have to get in there and really scrub it clean so it's not agitating enough to get a real dirt stain out but as you can see the water itself is pretty dirty like this one here probably would come out if you just did this eventually so let's not do that let me come back clean up do it again and then see if I can work on that drain a little bit all right here's what you see underneath I want to turn on so you can see it in action the motors on this side which is spinning these two gears and this is kind of causing the agitation here now I can give it a little silicone spray, but I'm not sure that's going to help. Let's just see if that helps. I'll turn it over let that drain out. Okay, now, do it again. Let's put in this here. One top, a little dirt on it. Okay, and then I have this top here. Let's load it down in there where the agitators really are. And then a cup and a half. Okay, and then a half a teaspoon. The drain issue is just because of that particular type of tube. It almost needs a right angle out, so that's something I'd have to work on. But again, you know, with vintage toys, you run the risk of having to fix things. Look at this, it was brand new in the box, and it needed to be fixed. All right, a couple minutes now of washing. just an overall look at the toy itself again so it says clothes washer up here those don't do anything Oop. all right let me let it go for like 10 seconds like this just because it's kind of unique isn't it in about two minutes so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reset up show the draining but I'm going to do a little bit different so you don't see me tipping it and everything so let me do that I will be right back 
All right, reset up my hose. As you can see, same little dirt spots are still on there. So here we go. Let's drain it out now. So at least you could watch it drain correctly. All right, almost drained. And what I'll do when I come back is I will actually, you know, have it all in place, do a final wrap up here, and then we'll, there we go. I would say it's pretty close. Pretty cool. I still think it's pretty cool, even though, you know, it's what your expectations are. If it's just to have fun and play with and put a little clothes in there and to kind of watch the washing machine work, that's perfect. If you think it's going to completely get off ketchup and mustard stains and dirt stains, that's not going to happen. All right. I'll be right back. It looks like it drained pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, almost all the way out. I'll be back. All right, that was a journey because being new in the box from 1968, you don't expect to run into any issues. I mean, I've had a lot of vintage toys where I've had to fix things, um, never thinking that the tube would be so brittle on the back. I did want to show you, it says to remove excess soap in clothes, repeat steps three and four using water only. And then what I think would have been better is if this just made a right turn out and then there was a connecting point outside here where you can drain. Don't you think that would have been much better? But, you know, back in 1968, never thinking that in 2016 someone will make a video of their toy. But either way, I think it was still pretty fun to learn about. I had fun. It did move the clothes around. Will it actually clean? I'm not sure. I mean, if you take doll clothes... And put them in there and probably get the dust off and probably make them smell fresh with the soap. But it, let's just say you take ketchup and mustard and work it into your doll clothes. It won't clean it. And that's it. That is the Susie Homemaker regular washer. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.